Good morning. Welcome back to Parse of Some Parsimony. Some of the kids had music class this morning. So I thought I'd run over to Price Chopper just to check out the bargains. I had so much fun doing this a couple weeks ago. I thought I'm going to try it again. This is a different Price Chopper and I'm going to see what I can find. I have no expectations, but if I find something, I'm going to show it to you guys. So I will be right back with hopefully all the bargains that I find. I did find some bargains. I'm going to drive on home. I'll show you guys all that I got and I'm really, really happy with some of the prices. So I'm back early. The kids aren't quite out of music class. So I thought I'll show you right here, right in my vehicle, what I ended up getting. We did have an error on the receipt, which I ended up calling Price Chopper about, but I'll show you that in just a minute. So I combed the entire store again. Oh, that's why. That's why. Okay. So <laughs> these, I didn't realize that. Ah, this was marked down. Obviously, he's got two stickers. I missed him not taking these off. So this would have been a dollar. I think he, it was a dollar two ninety nine. Let me look here. All right. So did he even scan that? Okay. There's the milk. It was three twenty nine. He should have taken those two coupons off, which he didn't do, which would have made it a dollar twenty nine. A really good price on that. Except obviously, I didn't get the stickers for that. And then. <laughs> This is comedy of errors here today. This package of Deli Fresh Oscar Mayer, you guys know I don't usually buy lunch meat like this, but it had two $2 stickers. So this was $4 off, but <laughs> this is where the funny story comes in. He forgot to scan this. So it should have scanned at $8.99. It would have been $4.99 for 22 ounces. This was gonna be for my lunch today because I didn't have time to get my lunch together before music class but he forgot to scan it. They went ahead, I called them, and they said, don't worry about it, it's on us. Which actually, in the long run, it works out because they didn't deduct those coupons. But I also found a couple packages of these and I was excited about this. This is a barbecue glaze marinade, um, boneless chicken breast, always love boneless. It was a dollar off, so I paid 95 cents for almost a pound of meat. So right around a dollar a pound there. I love this, that is great. I mean, this is my dinner tonight. Then we have a honey rub here. Same thing, had a dollar off, so it was 85 cents for, well, almost a pound of meat. And then I got another one. This one was, again, the barbecue glaze. This had a dollar off, so this one is a little bit more. It was a dollar 63 for uh, one and a third pounds of meat. So I paid a little bit more for that one. And then lastly, they had this package here, another dollar off. It was a dollar 61 for another one and a third pounds of meat. So really good prices on this. You know, if you average that together, you're gonna be right around a dollar a pound for already seasoned boneless chicken breast. And that is perfect because I didn't have anything for dinner planned or, well, I had something planned, but it wasn't thought out. So this will be my dinner for tonight, a really inexpensive dinner because this is going to be at least two meals for us. The meat is an example of where when you're buying those dollar off, if it's not a percentage, but if it's a dollar off type coupon on meat, always look for the smallest packages because that means you're getting more money off for less meat, if that makes sense. Um, it's just a better value. Obviously, today was a comedy of errors. Um, I ended up paying, after it was all said and done, $5.96 because he realized after it was all said and done that he had forgotten to scan the two things of chicken. So we went back and he scanned the other two packages of chicken. I never caught that he didn't scan the lunch meat. I thought he did. And then it wouldn't take one of the coupons because the system was being funky and it says you can only have one coupon per item and several of these items had two coupons. So it was just a comedy of errors. He ended up giving me a dollar back for the coupon that the machine wouldn't take. Isn't this a funny story? I was hoping to head to Aldi and stop there, but I didn't have enough time. I'm not sure if I can quick run in on the way home or not, but... It was a fun shopping trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the comedy of errors. And for those of you who have never seen Markdown stickers at Price Chopper,
that's what you're looking for, these type of stickers. I ended up stopping at Aldi after the kids' music class. It is raining, if you can't gather that. I think I can move this out of the way. We have all the we have all the stuff from tearing down the pigeon coop in the back of the beast bus. Anyways, I found some clearance items. I'm gonna get the kids home and then I'll show you the rest of what I got. All right, I quickly brought everything in. I have Daniel, my helper. Hi, Daniel, you're gonna help me do this? Hi. And Grace. I'm gonna quick show you what I got at Aldi. So here's everything that I picked up between Price Shopper and Aldi. Bananas were 48 cents a pound. I just needed bananas for next week. So not a not a discount on that, but just needed those. The pork sausage here was $1.19 a pound. This is normally $1.99. The date is May 6th, and today is April 29th. So they're trying to move this. I have no big deal for me. I'm going to freeze this. So I went ahead and picked up five. I could have picked up more, but I only had a small bag with me. I didn't have a cart. So five it is. The tomatoes were normally 99 cents a pound, but because they were, um, some of them were really not really good shape. Maybe we shall say they were a little on the ripe side. I picked up the good ones and we'll just, we'll do tacos this week. 50 cents a pound. So that was half price. And then the navel oranges here were normally $2.99, but these were marked down to $2.49 because, again, they were getting a little on the soft side. Not a problem for us. We go through a ton of fruit, so I only picked up three of those. So everything at Aldi here came to $16.52. And then this was my price shopper order here too. So I would say that's a pretty successful shopping haul. If I did the mental math right, that puts us, everything there was just a little bit under $23. Not bad for a fun morning while the kids were working on their music class. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you're having a fabulous day and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.